Welcome my friends. In today's video I am going to show you how to build ChatGPT like applications with Streamlit and OpenAI API and we will do it in less than 20 minutes because right now Streamlit has these features that allow you to build ChatGPT like applications in less than 50 lines of code and if you're here only to see the code I've got it on GitHub and you'll find the link in the description so but if you want to learn much more just follow along and code with me and enjoy awesome let's begin with an empty directory and just to show you this is empty there's nothing in here and uh, we'll just begin with installing a python virtual environment we do it basically with python minus m vns let's not get creative i just go call it vns and as the second, second step i just need to activate it i'm on linux so that's the way i activate it and it's new because when i call pip freeze uh, it shows me no packages and I'm about to install only two packages, but but first let's install, uh, let's upgrade my pip. Uh, I think that's a very good habit to have, like always to in, uh, update your pip before you go for installing. And we'll install just three. I said two, but let's install three packages and it's going to be OpenAI, Streamlit, and uh, python.env just to load our variable. Okay, and they're going to install probably pretty quickly, but while it's installing, let's, let's move to uh, open AI because we will need uh, open AI key API key and for that I'm going to uh, the open AI platform then go to the platform and on the right side you can see my personal and view API keys for the sake of this project, we'll just create a new secret key, just so we know how to do it. Just give it some name. Let's call it chatbot. And, it and it's created a new API key. And this is very important just to copy it immediately and move it to your project. And so everything is installed. I just open my Visual Studio code. Yeah. With my project. And I create a .env file. And paste what I've just created here. And this is going to be open AI API key. And again, just to double check, I've copied it immediately and I have pasted it because once I click on done, it's impossible to copy that key anymore. Just have a look. I've clicked done. This is my new key and I see only the beginnings and the ending, which is the, the last four letters. And there's no way for me to to copy that key anymore. Okay, let's move and start working on our Python file. Let's create a new file. Let's call it chatbot or whatever you want. And let's start importing packages we will need. So first we need Streamlit. Then OpenAI. We don't need the OS. And uh, to load our uh, our API key, we'll use the dot env package I've installed together. We 
do it like this way import uh, load.env and then this is a function that we need to call load.env and right now just to um, apply open AI API key we go to open AI API key and it equals OS and and just how we named it and just a, a reminder and we just we can copy paste it just to make sure we didn't misspell anything and so we need open ai api key to talk to our gpt models and but we will test it later if it all works but first let's just create a very very basic streamlit app and we start with just title and let's say my own GPT. So now let's try to run our Streamlit application. Uh, let's just clear. To run a Streamlit application, we just call Streamlit run and the name of the file. And then it should um, display our application. Okay, as the next step, let's create messages because in the, our application, we want to some kind of state management and uh, Streamlit has this uh, attribute called session state. So we'll need to do the following. Let's start it with if message not in Streamlit session state, we initialize um we initialize messages equals and just an empty array for now then we will want to display our messages and so for message our list we've just created messages um, and we'll use chat message for that uh, as I mentioned in the intro, that Streamlit allows creating chats really easily with this chat message attribute. We say here role, and then we display it as markdown message. Okay, to make sure nothing breaks here, and uh, let's just uh, refresh our page but we don't see anything because our messages are empty but we don't have any errors which is already good and for the open ai part we will also in our state we will keep the model we're actually using initialize model if that so that's going to please that's going to look similar to what we've just created, not in session state, um, session state model equals, yeah, let's use just the standard GPT turbo. Okay, so our, our application has only a title right now, so let's create a user input. If a user prompt prompt equals a jump input, and let's say your prompt, then we will expand on our uh, session state messages because we we need to store them somewhere. So let's say session state messages append. And we need to add a dictionary with role uh, equals user because uh, in OpenAI our prompts uh, have role user and then there is content and content will be the same as user prompt. So whatever we put in this input, that is going to be content. 
and then with a chat message type user so this is stream from streamlit we will just display it user prompt and let's see how our application updated we've got a user like you see your prompt and uh, the input and let's write the prompt session state has no attribute message um i probably misspelled it and let's say hello and we see our message here which is good okay so now it's time to generate a uh, chat GPT responses and we'll do it inside of this uh, user prompt. It's, it's going to look like this. Okay, let's write uh, generate response. responses and with a chat message, but this time it's going to be assistant, which means our bot. Let's create a placeholder equals and that's the part where we're actually using OpenAI. And for OpenAI, we call this chat completion, and then function is called create. And what we need to define is our model, and as you saw before, we've got our model here so we just put session state and model uh, sorry model and then for messages because that's how we will keep our chat history we need to call a for a for loop and it's going to look like this row equals role and content equals content but uh, because uh, it's a for loop for n session state messages so we use our chat history and display uh, and if we pass all messages to our model and it should generate um, like chat GPT like responses for us and let's say message placeholder markdown and we've got our response here but to get the response text we actually have to dig a little bit deeper we have to go for choices and then message content and we need to update our session state uh, but this time with with the chat gpt response role will be assistant and content sorry will be our response okay let's save it and let's go back to our application Are you? <clears throat> and let's just write something very si simple okay and we've got uh, the response and let's say how to learn and we're waiting for the response and believe it or not we already have a functional chat gpt but the difference is we don't have this streaming behavior and we didn't keep the whole history let's just try to fix it okay so our problem right now is that i can't save our history because it always gets replaced and I 
did some debugging already and I noticed a pretty tricky error and in my message um, I've again I've typed just message instead of messages uh, when we initialize the messages state so when I change it to back to messages and then reload um, okay I can see the full history but again we've got this error and this error is caused by that I'm sending just response whereas I should be saving everything um, to our messages so let's try again uh, hello okay tips so that's going to generate a slightly longer response which is if you're using chat gpt which is a weird behavior because we usually see this streaming so as a bonus for this video we can just i will i will just show you how to create this streaming behavior okay to add this streaming behavior we need to do some slight changes in this part of our code so first let's just generate a full response which at the beginning is going to be an empty string because we're going to expand this for response for response and then uh, our response needs some modification because we're going to call it as a loop and for response in openai complete chat completion create but also for this uh, function we need another attribute which is going to be stream equals to true so that's how we uh, give information that we want this streaming behavior and then we will call this for loop and we will uh, expand our for response with plus equals mm -hmm. And again, we've got our response and again, choices, no, but this time it's going to be slightly different. We need delta, get, and then content and the empty string. And for our message placeholder, uh, we need to have it here. We will just write full response. And here also we will say full response. Let's compare the results. Okay, so it's streaming right now. Um if life it's okay, it looks much better. And it looks much more like uh, ChatGPT right now. And one additional. Awesome. That's it for today. I've saved the whole code on my GitHub. Uh, you will find the link in the description. And we will also use it as a code base for my another video. So feel free to grab it. And I hope you learned something today and enjoyed it. And have a great week. Cheers.